My contact has informed me of a convoy of abandoned merchant vessels drifting in dead space. Seems like such a waste of good product just to leave it floating there, when it could be on my shelves instead. Reactivate the navigation consoles, and I can reroute them to a secure location. After I take down the inventory of each ship, we can share the dividends. Mine is my usual finder's fee, of course. Welcome to GamesWise, it's me, Wisecrack, and in today's episode, a tactical alert called Blackout. <laughs> but before we do the missions, let's first see what kind of enemies we'll be facing. And this is the bastard himself, the Grenier Manic. He will be fast and furious, he will be constantly going at it. And you can't see him, but still we need to kill him, and we need to kill 75 of those Grenier Manics and the first mission will be on Mars and the second and the third one as well but the first is here let's go So we picked up the data mass and put it in this thing and then all hell breaks loose. This door open, brothers. We need to take our revenge. So when you kill all Mannix, you can finally go to the extraction and get your first mission point. And our first prize is a Oricon Catalyst Blueprint. Isn't that great? So now we need to go and do the second mission. So we took my Nova Prime 
and this time well this time we go to Mars again but we have a blackout 2 now which is a little bit harder but that doesn't matter because I got my Nova Prime and I got my melee weapons so let's do this So again, we need to bring the data mess to the thing, and then all the manics come. And this time there's low gravity, so remember that. So we're here at the terminal, waiting for the person to bring the data mess here. And then all the manics will come out again. But this time I was prepared, I knew what was coming. So here we go, I brought my Nova Prime to slow them down with my Molecular Prime of course. And I, I only, well I mostly made use of my melee weapons. And that's it. So let's kill 75 of these Manix. Here is the last one, and I kill him with my Null Star. And we did it, ladies and gentlemen. The second blackout mission is done, and it's time to go to the extraction. Another job well executed. So we got two points now, and that means we get the second prize. And you probably guessed it. 
It is a Oricon Reactor Blueprint. Hooray for us! So now, with my Mirage, I go and do the third mission, which is an Endurance mission, with a level between 60 and 80. And you only have 50 power energy. I had my page with me, which come in handy, and you'll see in a minute why. So first, I was cowering. I was. I thought, I, I'm scared. But now, it's time for battle. So with the Hall of Mirrors, my phage and some nice teammates, I finally accomplished the third mission. I did all tactical alerts, which means my Stratus emblem will look a little bit like this. So I hope you enjoyed this episode, check me out in all my other videos and I hope to see you soon, adios. By choosing a color, you can give your chroma a elemental attribute. You can add toxin, electricity, heat or cold to your abilities. And we begin with heat damage. So with the first ability, Spectral Scream, your chroma will spit fire! So in this case you do heat damage, plus the targets you ignite have a chance to panic and flail around.